everybody. This is uh, Joseph, and welcome to another QML tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to discuss uh, importing JavaScript files that I totally forgot about before, um, and a really part, important part and uh, powerful part of uh, QML. So, from our last tutorial, we had this model, and inside of our model, we had an XML list model that went out to the tvdatabase.com's API, and it's it's grabbing some uh, some banners for us of uh, Star Trek, right? So let's go ahead and we don't even need these anchors anymore. So let's get rid of those and let's just run this, right? And it's loading down here, loading, 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 and eventually it will load. And there we go, it's loaded and it's bringing the pictures up. Okay, let's close that down. But there were errors, obviously there were pictures. If we run this again, we'll see after it loads that there's missing pictures. We can see that there's two of them, my Dell. Okay, so let's let's look at that debugging down there. It says uh, home Joseph templates, my, my Dell. It says image error decoding, and it's just looking for this string right here. And obviously there is no banner after it, so we need to be able to have a fallback. Okay, so let's let's look online for a fallback image really quick. Okay, here's one right here, so let's go ahead and copy that. All right now, let's let's create a JavaScript file. Okay, we're going to be using this for logical purposes, and um, we go to Files and Classes, Cute. Now we press JS File right here. Okay, and we're going to make this a uh, we're going to call this Utils, and we're going to make sure that it's not a stateless library for right now. And we just press Finish. Okay, now let's take this function out of here, and let's create a variable. And we're going to call it fall back image. And we're going to set it equal to our fallback image. Okay. Let's save this file. And let's go back over to our delegate again. And we're going to say <coughs> import. And now we're going to put our quotations here, which means that we're importing a file or something local. We're not importing library plugins. Okay, so we're going to import utils, JS, and we're going to say as utils. Alright, so we're importing this file and we're giving it kind of like this variable name of utils here. Okay, now let's say on status changed. Give okay, our curly brackets, we'll say if status is equal 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 to image dot oops, error <coughs> curly brackets and we are going to say source whoops source is equal to utils okay dot fallback image Right? So it's going to look inside of our JavaScript file and look for a function or a variable or a case statement or whatever that is equal to fallback image. Okay. Now let's save this and run this. Let's see, we're loading, we're loading, we're loading, we're loading. It knows that we're loading. It's still loading. I wish I had fast. Oh, it loaded. Oh, okay. So there we go. We got the two errors there, right? But it filled in for the errors it gave us our uh, our banner there okay so let's say we actually uh, wanted to make a folder system or something like that in our in our project right so let's just right click here um, actually let's right click on utils right and we're gonna say uh, show containing folder right so this is gonna open up our uh, file browser of whatever choice, right? And here it is. And we're going to right click here and we're going to say create folder. And we're going to call it we're going to call it javascript. Okay? Create that. Now let's go ahead and take our utils.js, right? And let's put it in our javascript folder. Okay? So there we go. Just move that over to our javascript folder. And let's go ahead and press the uh, close button on our file manager. And it says that it's been um, updated 
or removed outside of Qt Creator, do you want to save it under a different name or close the editor? So we're just going to close the editor. Okay, and you can see that it automatically found the folder right here, right? But we have this red mark here, so we have to actually define the, fo the folder that it's sitting in, right? JavaScript, and then we can just do the forward slash, right? Because that's the folder that it's sitting in. We don't do the dot, we just do the forward slash because it's a full string, right? And if we save and run this, you'll see that it is the same deal. Anywho, uh, that's how you import JavaScript things, and that's how you back up and make sure that your image is good, and if it's not good, then you know, so on and so forth. Anyways, this is Joseph. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, um, Simple One, something I forgot about with importing JavaScript. Um, and of course, um, again, your JavaScript files can be like lots and lots and lots of functions and lots and lots and lots of variables or whatever you want to set it as um, for logic and stuff like that. Anyways, this is Joseph. Have a good one. Bye.